Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Amriki Kulabo. This is Aram and today I'm going to walk you through my morning skincare regimen. But before I take you through the products that I use and the steps that are involved, I want to tackle a little misunderstanding that people may have. I've seen a lot of people saying that or thinking that one cream, one lotion, or one product should take care of all the skincare uh, issues that they may be suffering from or your skin may be exposed to. So that's a lot to expect from a single product. It doesn't work like that. It's not a magic wand. Um, because your skin is suffering from or may, is exposed to multiple issues, there are multiple products that you need to use you need to use multiple products to tackle each one of them so having to take care of that and getting that out of the equation let's begin so I've already washed my face with a face wash and this is the face wash that I'm currently using it's called confidence in a cleanser it's by it cosmetics it's one of my favorite favorite cleansers um, I use different products I don't always stick with one products uh, with one product in just about anything whether it's cleanser toner moisturizer serum I like to change it up I like my skin to keep guessing and um, that makes me try out different things and then uh, stumble on great products um, so before I move on and uh, to the next step I want to talk a little bit about cleansers what do they do so it is very important that you do not use a soap bar because a soap bar is extremely alkaline and i uh, will talk about what that means you might have heard a term ph ph or ph balanced so that is what you're looking for a ph is stands that stands for power of hydrogen basically determines how acidic or how alkaline a product is supposed to be. Our skin also has a pH, uh, which is between 4.5 to 5.5, and which it is slightly more on an acidic level. The range is 0 to 14, 14 being the most um, alkaline, and 0 is 1 is very acidic so our skin tends to be um, um, more on the acidic side uh, the sebum um, our water from our perspiration and our oils uh, they have a thin protective layer which is called an acidic mantle and that kind of protects our skin and when we use harsh um, soaps or harsh cleansers full of sulfates or detergent they really deplete our pH balance, they disrupt our pH balance and deplete our um, skin, care, uh, skin acidic mantle. And that is something we need to avoid. How do we avoid that? By using a cleanser that's gentle on your skin and is uh, pH balanced. So this is where an is our issue lies because a lot of the times you don't find cleansers that would list the pH of the product. So a lot of the times I prefer to use organic cleansers because they are very, very pH balanced. A lot of the times you would see um, on the products that it's listed, it's pH balanced. So select those products. The best test that you will have is after washing your face, is your, if your face is feeling too dry or too um, tight, um, that is an indication that it has disrupted your pH balance and it was too much on the alkaline uh, side. Um, you want something like a 5.5, between 4.5 to 6. Um, you may not find products that list those, but like I said, the test is after using, if you feel it's extremely, making your skin extremely tight and dry, you wanna discontinue that um, um, cleanser. Um, next, what is next? So pH balance is disrupted. What it does is that it makes your skin susceptible to breakouts, premature aging, a lot of the times, uh, we think that wrinkles is a natural process of growing older. While it is, a lot of the times you may have seen that people that are same ages 
age differently and the reasons that may lead to that are how much your skin is exposed to sun. Um, there are three things that lead to anti-aging. Sun, gravity, and um, moisturizing. So we cannot do much about gravity we live on this planet. What we can do about it is the sun's, um, sun protection and we can take care of moisturizing. A lot of the times people think that if I have oily skin, I don't have to moisturize. That's not the case and I'll talk about more about it when we get to that step. But so if your skin is feeling tight, please discontinue that cleanser. Uh, one, my favorite cleansers, like I said, is this one. One of these, I keep going back to it a lot. Um, another one that I really, really like is by Pharmacy. Um, uh, it's F-A-R-M-A-C-Y, and it's available at Ulta as well as Sephora. Um, and that is, um, this one is about, I got this as part of a set. And this was just $14. Um, it came with this and they're really good um, moisturizer, uh, the secret sauce. Um, and um, it was a holiday um, uh, set, so I got it. But it's I don't know how it retails for, but I'll link it. Um, uh, I'll link all the products in the description box so you don't have to worry about and um, remember these products while I'm talking about it. So uh, the next thing in the process is the toner. So I've already applied toner and the cleanser, but um, toner is a step that even if your cleanser was not pH balanced, it puts your skin back into the pH balance. Um, the point of having a pH balanced cleanser is that it does not expose your skin to um, premature aging and dryness, so it's good to have a pH balanced cleanser. But even then, after your um, skin is cleansed, it's, it's um, on the drier side, and um, so it's really, really important to keep a, a, a right away apply toner. Uh, don't uh, let your skin um, uh, just be without any product um, after your cleansing. It's very important to take a, put a toner or a moisturizer right away. So the toner that I'm currently using is Mamond. Um, the rose water toner it's a uh, it's a Korean brand um, and it's available for $22 at Ulta and I got it for $11 because it was on sale so be on the lookout for those sales and what how you would do is you just take a few drops and just dab it and just um, put it all on your face a lot of the times um, you could swipe it, uh, you could use a cotton ball or a cotton pad and just uh, wipe, gently wipe across your face. I like to um, just um, pad it gently on my face because I like the, and I think I might have told you before in one of my um, um, videos that I like to um, keep my skincare uh, products in my fridge, in my mini fridge, this little um, pink box that you see on top is my little mini fridge on my bathroom sink. Um, I like the, um, a lot of the times um, there are, so toner is a very um, misleading term. A lot of the, so there, uh, the, the toner that I'm using is a hydrating toner. There are different kinds of toners. So, um, a lot of the times uh, there are peeling toners like glycolic acid or alpha hydroxy acid. Those are not the ones that you're supposed to use in this uh, step. Those are peels. Um, and for beginners, I wouldn't recommend to use that right away. Um, the, uh, so these uh, start with hydrating toners. And even if you're using those, that would be a step after the cleanser. Um, and then you would use a hydrating. So you may have heard of uh, the seven skips, little seven step skin method. Koreans um, use it, and what it really means is applying your toner seven times and giving a gap of uh, 30 seconds to a minute in between. That really helps uh, to keep your skin hydrated. I don't like to use seven steps, neither do I have the time for it. So I 
uh, put like uh, two steps um, twice so I had already put it on and then I did it again once with um, you guys so um, just to recap use hydrating toners um, other toners that I really really like and have used in the past is another um, Korean brand and I'll link it in the description box it's called Soon Jung and it's by Etude House and that really lists the, uh, the um, it's a basic toner, it's a, but it's a really good toner for balancing the pH of your skin. And also, it says that it's 5.5 pH. And um, it's also very hydrating. So that was, um, I used it like twice. I'd used two bottles of it. This was on sale. I really wanted to try this brand. And then, uh, so, and, um, and if you look at the ingredients, they're not very, they're not a whole lot of impressive ingredients in here, but I kind of love the feel of it and it's very hydrating. So um, I just bought another bottle of it. Um, so, and it's still half left. I think I'm in love with this toner. So moving on, the next step is your serum. Okay, so what is a serum? The serum is a product that does the most heavy lifting in your skincare uh, regimen. It's a product that treats specific skin conditions which range from uh, hyperpigmentation to anti-aging, um, to fine lines, to lifting. There are different kinds of serums. There are serums that would claim that they do everything. I am very skeptical of those. So. Um, if you have to use just two products in your skincare, I would recommend to use a serum and a uh, sunscreen. When I was growing up, even in my 20s, even in my 30s, I wanna say I didn't know much about serums. I would just uh, use um, um, moisturizer and toner and the cleanser. I, didn't, I don't think there were a whole lot of serums back then. And, uh, but even if they were, I didn't use that much. Um, I just started using serums, I want to say, ever since I turned 35, 37. So, yeah, I've been using it for a good 10 years. Uh, for reference, I'm 47. Um, so, currently, uh, the serum that I'm using is this one. It's called Biosense. Um, it's called Lane Plus Vitamin C Rose Oil Serum. It is a, ser a vitamin C serum that I love. Um, one of uh, the most popular ingredients for a serum is vitamin C. So vitamin C, as you may be aware, is an antioxidant and it has a lot of properties that are good for anti-aging, uh, treating blemishes, um, uh, doing away with hyperpigmentation, reversing or preventing sun damage. So that's kind of a very, very promising ingredient. And if you're selecting a morning serum, I would recommend to go with anything that has a, a vitamin C um, related, uh, has vitamin C. Um, there are multiple types of vitamin C and uh, that's where it gets complicated. I don't want to confuse you a whole lot, but the purest form of vitamin C is L-ascorbic acid. That's how it's found in, um, uh, in uh, natural environments, and uh, but it's very potent. I don't like to use products uh, with uh, L-ascorbic acid, one, because um, it oxidizes pretty easily. Uh, what, it, what it means is every time you open the product, it gets into contact with air and then it oxidizes, which means that it goes bad or it starts going bad. When, um, so, and it doesn't last forever. You um, can prolong its uh, life by putting it in a fridge or in a dark place. But if you're anyone like me, I can't, I don't have the time for, uh, I do have a mini fridge, but I just got it a week ago. Um, and then, of course, you're opening the products and you touch the um, uh, the nozzle and then, you know, it becomes um, contaminated. It may become contaminated. So there are other vitamin C derivatives that I like to use. They're not as... Um, 
potent or not as effective as an ascorbic acid, but I, you can get a higher percentage of vitamin C. This one has 15% of vitamin C. Um, I think you could start out by 10%. I started out with Mad Hippie, 10%. I didn't like that um, much. Um, it was um, a pure form of vitamin C, I want to say. Um, the derivatives are, and I have a list right here for you, it's some other form of vitamin C derivatives are ascorbyl palmitate, magnesium ascorbyl palmitate, uh, commonly known as MAP, uh, calcium ascorbate, sodium ascorbyl, ascor ascorbyl phosphate, SAP. Um, so these are, and when you go to Sephora or um, um, Alta, you can ask um, their representatives as to uh, what kind of vitamin C does it, this contain. So um, I love um, 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 this vitamin C and you can see it's just 30 ml and you can see, I've you've been using it for a month now and you can see that I've, it's just very little that's used. It's like almost a full bottle. I want to say I have used it for at least a month. Um, so, um, and it hasn't made me big break out. So that's why I love it. I think I like my skin to keep guessing. So I will try the other ones. So moving on, the next step is, oh, before I forget, when you're using um, a vitamin C related products, it's really, really important to just drown in sunscreen. I can I cannot emphasize it enough because then otherwise it will not it will um, harm you instead of um, uh, being advantageous or benefiting you. How will it harm you? It will give you hyperpigmentation. It will give you sun damage. So it is very important to put on lots and lots of sunscreen. Um, if you're using vitamin C. It's very important to use um, uh, sunscreen uh, regardless, um, but when you're using vitamin C, it's very, very important. Okay, moving on, next step is your moisturizer. Um, before I move on to the moisturizer, I did tell you that right now I'm using two serums. The other you, serum that I'm using is this one. It's called Vita B3 Source, it's by TM. Um, I think I have hoping that I pronounce it right. It's a Korean brand. It is. It has 10% niacinamide um, and 1% or 2% alpha arbutrin. Both these compounds are um, good compounds for hyperpigmentation. Niacinamide is a great product. Um, that goes with all skin skin types. It goes very well with uh, vitamin C. It helps uh, making your uh, pores less. I've just started using it a couple of months ago. I discovered it a few months ago and I'm already seeing um, a difference on my skin. And uh, if you saw my video where I started getting these blemishes, these two acne zits, it's niacinamide and my acne patches that really helped. It will take a while for all these uh, for these two um, spots to go away, but and we'll monitor it, and you can see um, um, as I do these videos. But niacinamide is really helping in uh, um, hyperpigmentation, and I used to have a lot of eye um, 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 circles. And I have absolutely nothing on right now. My skin is washed and I put on um, um, a toner in front of you and I didn't even put on the um, vitamin C, I forgot. So while I'm talking, I do that with you. And avoid your eyes, you can put it on your neck. Um, okay. So, and the next thing I was talking about was niacinamide. So niacinamide pairs really well with vitamin C and um, it, uh, it helps with uh, breaking out too and it helps with hyperpigmentation. And I put it around my eyes too because I used to have a lot of dark circles and I think it has really helped with my dark circles. I've just started using it. Um, um, I use I started using it two to three months ago and I've just started like 
couple weeks ago putting around my eyes and I think I'm already seeing a difference. So um, this is, I'll put the link below. There, um, the Ordinary has a really cheap niacinamide. I would recommend, it's like six bucks or something. The Inky List, both retails at, retail at Sephora, the Inky List has something like seven bucks for niacinamide. If you don't wanna invest a lot, do buy those and see if it works for you. Um, so moving on, um, eye creams. I um, did not do the steps right. After the toner, the next step should be eye creams. Uh, I went to the serum because this eye area is extremely sensitive. Uh, so, um, and you do not have pores here. Uh, so it is really important to keep it hydrated because it's really sensitive and thin skin and it becomes it is most prone to anti-aging um, so the eye cream that I'm currently using is Strevictin's anti-wrinkle intensive eye concentrate for wrinkles and this is what it looks like I purchased it from Costco I purchased it from Costco. There was a set uh, which is going on sale for now till 30th of August, I wanna say. There was seven ml of this and a big 30 ml of this, half the price that it retails for. It retails for 67 and it was like 30 something. Uh, and it came with this bonus one as well, which, you get, which is great for um, travel. So this is my first time I'm using it. I haven't seen any results yet. It's just too soon just barely a week uh, but it seems very promising and it had really good reviews so I'm using that um, and I'm also using niacinamide I told you but I'm also using another eye cream and I'll tell you why I'm using multiple eye creams because I figured that it's the same principle uh, that is with the skin so one anti-aging eye cream will not take care of my puffiness will not take care of uh, my anti-aging i have a lot of eye puffiness issues you can see right here right here right here so niacinamide is for um i use for hyperpigmentation um lightening the circles um this cream is for anti-aging i want to um, take care of my um, wrinkles prevent them I started to get some fine lines but it I, I think it still looks good for my age um, and then another one that I am using you might have heard that CBD um, uh, is really on the rise uh, ever since marijuana became um, legal in California I can only speak to California because that's where I live so this is a cream I found at, at Ulta it's called Bota um, CBT calming and balancing daily eye serum I love the feel of it because whenever I wake up I wake up super my eyes are always burning and I don't sleep well I hardly get I have insomnia so I only get like four to five hours of sleep on average i try and catch up on the weekends but i have a lot of sleep issues and i'm a really light sleeper so i can't get enough sleep so this thing really helps in keeping it calm and helps with the puffiness i think to an extent as well and frankly i love the feel of it so it retails for 25 or 24 this is currently on sale uh, at alta and i got it for 18 bucks okay so moving on uh the moisturizer the cur currently the moisturizer that i'm using is uh pharmacies daily greens oil-free gel moisturizer for mornings you might want to you want to use a light moisturizer because um um you don't want to um, because you're exposed to elements and you don't want heavy creams that won't be absorbed um, and um, makes you look um, like it starts pilling for me so um, 
the thing that helps me is light um, moisturizers. You can use a heavy moisturizer, nothing wrong with that. But for me, I use those for nights. Um, and usually night moisturizers are the heavier ones. Don't forget your um, uh, neck. I used to neglect my neck for the longest time. Not anymore. Please don't forget to wash your neck when you're doing your sun, um, cleanser so that it's clean and it's good to um, um, to go with all the skincare products um, and then um, moisturizer is I think I don't really care about what moisturizer I use as long as it doesn't break me out um, or it is um, hydrating and moisturizing I because I use serums for my um, treatments i don't care a whole lot about moisturizer but i do but it's important to put a moisturizer so your skin does not stays hydrated throughout the day i keep a couple of um, moisturizer uh, travel size in my office so when um, because of the ac and um, ex um, excessive high um, um, low temperatures um, it's my skin starts drying it's on the dry side anyways so i um, uh, reapply my moisturizer and there was a set uh, which is going on sale for now till 30th of August I want to say there was 7 ml of this and a big 30 ml of this half the price that it retails for it retails for 67 and it was like 30 something uh, and it came with this bonus one as well which you can, which is great for um, travel so this is my first time I'm using it I haven't seen any results yet it's just too soon just barely a week uh, but it seems very promising and it had really good reviews so I'm using that um, and I'm also using niacinamide I told you but I'm also using another eye cream and I'll tell you why I'm using multiple eye creams because I figured that it's the same principle uh, that is with the skin so one anti-aging eye cream will not take care of my puffiness will not take care of uh, my anti-aging i have a lot of eye puffiness issues you can see right here right here right here so niacinamide is for um i use for hyperpigmentation um lightening the circles um this cream is for anti-aging i want to um, take care of my um, wrinkles prevent them I started to get some fine lines but it I, I think it still looks good for my age um, and then another one that I am using uh, you might have heard that CBD um, uh, is really on the rise uh, ever since marijuana became um, legal in California I can only speak to California because that's where I live so this is a cream I found at, at Ulta it's called Bota um, CBT calming and balancing daily eye serum I love the feel of it because whenever I wake up I wake up super my eyes are always burning and I don't sleep well I hardly get I have insomnia so I only get like four to five hours of sleep on average i try and catch up on the weekends but i have a lot of sleep issues and i'm a really light sleeper so i can't get enough sleep so this thing really helps in keeping it calm and helps with the puffiness i think to an extent as well and frankly i love the feel of it so it retails for 25 or 24 this is currently on sale uh, at alta and i got it for 18 bucks okay so moving on uh the moisturizer the cur currently the moisturizer that i'm using is uh pharmacies daily greens oil-free gel moisturizer for mornings you might want to you want to use a light moisturizer because um um you don't want to um, because you're exposed to elements and you don't want heavy creams that won't be absorbed um, and um, makes you look um, like it starts pilling for me so um, the thing that helps me is light 
um, moisturizers. You can use a heavy moisturizer, nothing wrong with that. But for me, I use those for nights. Um, and usually night moisturizers are the heavier ones. Don't forget your um, uh, neck. I used to neglect my neck for the longest time. Not anymore. Please don't forget to wash your neck when you're doing your sun, um, cleanser so that it's clean and it's good to um, um, to go with all the skincare products um, and then um, moisturizer is I think I don't really care about what moisturizer I use as long as it doesn't break me out um, or it is um, hydrating and moisturizing I because I use serums for my um, treatments I don't care a whole lot about moisturizer but I do but it's important to put a moisturizer so your skin does not stays hydrated throughout the day I keep a couple of um, moisturizer uh, travel size in my office so when um, because of the AC and um, ex um, excessive high um, um, low temperatures um, it's my skin starts drying it's on the dry side anyways so I um, uh, reapply my moisturizer okay and now the sunscreen currently I'm using this sunscreen which is centella green level uh, from Purito uh, sun safe uh, SPF 50 PA plus 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 so um, it is the PA plus 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 is the highest form of protection that is out there. I did, I'm forgetting what PA stands for, but this is a Korean brand, Prerito. It's really calming. It has Centella Asiatica, which is a really nice um, the ingredient, herbal ingredient to calm skin. I usually use one of my favorites and most economical sunscreen is, uh, um, what is it called? Uh, Australian Gold Tinted um, SPF. Uh, 50 uh, but I discovered these um, um, sunscreens last six months or so before that I used to be a Neutrogena girl chemical sunscreen girl all my um, life um, I wish I had known about sunscreen when I was growing up before my 30s I didn't apply any sunscreen until I became 30 31 uh, there has been some sun damage because of that and um, because of my South Asian skin, we have higher um, um, content of melanin, uh, which prevents a whole lot of sun damage. Um, uh, we don't get skin cancers, but such sun damage is still happening, which is not um, visible right away. But as you age, it starts popping on your skin. It starts coming out on your skin for stuff that you didn't know like 20 years ago or 30 years ago. So I didn't know, um, I started using sunscreen, I wanna say at 30, 31, and that to like SPF 15 or SPF 30. So, but last 10 years I've been pretty good with sunscreen, uh, but I've used recently stopped using chemical sunscreen because um, I have a thyroid condition. I have hypothyroid, which makes my metabolism really slow, which is one of the reasons, primary reasons, I cannot lose weight. Um, and uh, so um, that messes up. I was reading on it and I stumbled on it and I found out that the chemical sunscreen, some of the ingredients, um, um, messes up with the thyroid conditions if you have that so and they're really bad for the coral reefs and the environment um, uh, so I switched on to um, mineral sunscreens Australian gold is a great mineral sunscreen uh, currently this was a big I don't know if it's entirely mineral or um, I don't believe it's entirely mineral but it's a different Korean brands have different kinds of sunscreen and they don't have the regular uh, chemical sunscreen product uh, ingredients that they have. I'm loving um, the texture and um, I don't know if you can see, it's really nice. And it does, most of the uh, mineral sunscreens leave a white cast, but this one doesn't. It's not, like I said, it's not entirely uh, mineral but I tested a lot of mineral sunscreen and Australian gold is one that uh, once this runs out I'm going back to that one 
um, it's available uh, in Alta, uh, I think Walmart too, everywhere. So the, uh, the rule of thumb for sunscreen is putting on at least a dime size. I've already put a dime size, this is another dime size. So uh, put a lot. I don't use it around my eyes um, because I use sun protection um, uh, for my eyes through my eyeglasses, invest in good eyeglasses that have both UVA, UVB, and if possible, Polaroid um, um, protection because I don't know if you can see, there is a little bump, it's called milia, that happens when you put moist, heavy moisturizers around your eyes because your eyes don't have pores, they cannot absorb those things. So I learned it recently and I did the research so you don't have to and that's why I have this channel so I have a voice and let people know of things that I've learned. So don't put heavy creams around your eyes, it will give you milia. So that's pretty much it guys. Do let me know um, how, what you think of uh, this video and I will link all the products down below. And stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.